September 2015, LIGO researchers detected ripples in space-time known as gravitational waves. This observation is considered one of the greatest discoveries in the history of science. In 1905, based on special relativity, Einstein told us mass and energy are interchangeable, space and time are intertwined. We live in this four-dimensional space-time. In 1915, Einstein formulated general relativity that tells us how mass and energy interact with space-time. Mass tells space-time how to curve. Space-time tells mass how to move. Gravity is the result of curved space-time. When we throw a stone or move a stick up and down in the water, it creates waves that go outward on the surface of the water. Same way when a massive astrophysical object moves through space very rapidly, it will create ripples in space-time known as gravitational waves. Gravitational waves were first predicted by Einstein in 1916. Waves. Neutron stars and black holes are remnants of supernovae. If a star ten times more massive than the sun explodes, it will create neutron star. And if a star twenty times more massive than the sun explodes, it will create black hole. Very fast spinning neutron star with mountain on top will create continuous gravitational waves. When two neutron stars go around each other, they lose energy in the form of gravitational waves. And that makes them to move closer and they go around each other very fastly. And after some time, they collide and create high frequency gravitational waves. When two black holes go around, they collide and make gravitational waves. All the matter in the universe, like galaxies, stars, planets, people, atoms, and space and time were created by the Big Bang around 14 billion years ago. Few minutes after Big Bang, the universe expanded rapidly and created ripples in space-time known as stochastic gravitational waves. A passing gravitational wave will squeeze and stretch space-time and everything in it. For example, when a gravitational wave passes through a balloon, it will squish in one direction and stretch in another direction at the same time. After some time, the other way around. Gravitational waves that hit the Earth are very weak, so the stretching and squeezing of objects will be very, very small, many million times smaller than the width of a hair. So to measure these very, very small changes in length, scientists built LIGO experiment. This is highly simplified model of LIGO experiment. It has a laser, a beam splitter, two mirrors, and a photo detector or a light detector. The light will come from here and go towards the beam splitter. The beam splitter will split the light into two halves, 
One half will go towards this mirror, the other half will go towards this mirror. They will bounce off the mirrors and go back to the beam splitter. The LIGO experiment was designed such a way that the distance between the beam splitter and the two mirrors is the exact same distance and the beams from the beam splitter will go and come back at the same exact same time and cancel out. The photo detector will detect no light at all. When a gravitational wave passes through the LIGO experiment, it will distort space. That means one arm will stretch, one arm will squeeze at the same time, and some of the light will cancel out, and the rest of it will go to the photo detector. And after some time, one arm will squeeze, another arm will stretch, some of the light will cancel out, the rest will go to the photo detector, and it will repeat again for some time. This is how LIGO experiment detected gravitational waves from two colliding black holes in September 2015. We can learn more about neutron stars, black holes, the Big Bang, and many more mysterious stuff in our universe, like dark matter and dark energy. Awesome job, Liger, for detecting gravitational waves.